Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we want to take a look at the highly rumored PlayStation equivalent to Game Pass, as well as the update to the Nintendo 64 emulator that's being used on the Nintendo Switch. But before we get started, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. That's the best way to let me know you enjoy the content on this channel. Now let's get started. So before we get into this first topic, I do want to emphasize that none of this is confirmed yet, but several outlets are reporting the same information. So I thought I'd cover it here today, but take it with a grain of salt. Sony hasn't confirmed any of this, but let's take a look anyways. So coming from VentureBeat, they've got a list here of the three plans that it looks like Sony plans to implement. Now this Game Pass rival has been going under the codename of Spartacus, and this seems to be what the plans are looking like. So you have a PS Plus Essential, PS Plus Extra, and PS Plus Premium. So these are kind of the breakdowns of the different features and price structures. So the Essential is $10 and you get monthly games. The Extra is $13 a month and you get a game catalog. And then under the $16 premium, you'll get streaming, classic games, and game trials. So that first tier, the PS Plus Essential, is basically what PS Plus already is. So that's really not changing. There are monthly games that are added, and as long as you add them to your catalog, then they'll stay in there as long as you continue your subscription. Now the next tier down, the extra, is basically what you get in the tier above it, plus you'll get access to a catalog of hundreds of older downloadable games. Now the article from VentureBeat says this is most likely the game catalog out of PS Now, and added on to this tier. And now the final tier, the premium, is going to get you again everything in the tier above it, plus you're going to get the streaming games that are on PlayStation Now, and a library of classic games and game trials. Now several articles says that the classic games will be like your older PlayStation, PlayStation 2 games, and the game trials would be newer games, but you would be time limited for how long you could play them. And that being, maybe you could play it for 10 hours, not that it's allowed for a year's time and play it unlimited, but you can only put like so many hours into the game. Now they're expecting this to be announced in March, so I mean we could possibly see it next week, but who knows. Personally I would have to see what games are going to be on this service in order to decide if it's something that I would want to buy into. But let me know, is it something you may be looking forward to? Drop a comment and let me know. Next, the Nintendo Switch Online Nintendo 64 emulator recently got an update. This coming from a data miner, Oatmeal Dome, on Twitter. It says version 2.0.0 is now available. There appears to be a bunch of game configuration updates, which I will cover in another tweet. Notably, however, the infamous Water Temple room is completely fixed, as fog has been restored. And you can compare this in with a picture taken from an actual Nintendo 64 hardware. And it looks a lot better than it did when this emulator first came out. I'm really happy that Nintendo's putting a lot of time into this and working to perfect the emulation. It could possibly be one of the better emulators for the Nintendo 64 if they continue on this trend. And last, the Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remake has finally been released and it's been some mixed reviews on it. I know we covered the suplexing train earlier, and another thing that's been changed that has caught a lot of people's attention is this opening scene where you're walking across the icy pathway and there's supposed to be credits that scroll. And as you can see from this tweet here, the top one is taken from the original Super Nintendo version and the bottom one is the new Pixel Remaster. And many people are wondering why they didn't put the credits in there. It does kind of make the scene just kind of drag on and seem to not have a whole lot of purpose. My hope is that they'll listen to this and fix this and add it in a patch. Because it really kind of distracts from the original scene. But what are your thoughts? And that's all we have to cover for today. Did anything catch your attention? Are you looking forward to this Game Pass competitor? 
Is this something you would subscribe to, or do you really need to see what the games are to kind of get a better idea if it's something you're interested in? And are there other improvements you would like to see happen in the Nintendo 64 emulator for the Switch? I want to thank you for watching, and be good.